Excellent! What's up guys and welcome back to what is I guess my third video on this particular build. I've already shown you the build process itself. I have also shown you how to get yourself a Windows 10 OEM key for about $20 from kingwin.net which I have installed on here and is working just fine so far. Uh, I'm going to be taking this system over to deliver it to my parents today. So I'm going to do a little bit of a side-by-side -side comparison of the old system and the new system. It's not going to be a fair fight by any stretch, but I do want to show hopefully what kind of a vast improvement that we've made by going with a, a newer system with an SSD and better fans and it should be quieter and all that good stuff. Should also be more uh, energy efficient thanks to that 80 plus gold power supply. But anyway though, uh, let's get this started off because before I head over to make delivery, I want to give this even a better edge than it already has and that is to take advantage of the fact that we're using the uh, Intel Pentium Anniversary Edition G3258 and uh, we should be able to overclock that so anyway uh, also I just booted up which was very fast I meant to show you guys that okay my, my first attempt to get into the BIOS failed because it booted up too quickly so I'm restarting to see if uh, I can get there by tapping the delete button on startup and if it's still too fast then I'm gonna have to use alternative means all right, good, it worked. All right, so the first thing I actually checked here was my BIOS version. Uh, right now we're on F6. There is an F7 version available, but that was just an update to support Broadwell CPUs, and since we're not using that, I think I can get away without doing the BIOS update. So uh, here we can see sort of the, the, the frequency settings, which it popped us into automatically. We got performance upgrade, we got CPU base clock. I think I'm just gonna set the base clock to right where it should be. Or, or wow, the mouse is floaty. Uh, can I punch this in? Can I punch in gigabyte? 100, there we go. Uh, all right, other than that, I'm not gonna do a whole lot of special goodness here. I'm just going to go to our uh, CPU clock ratio and uh, let's try, I'm just gonna take a shot in the dark, 42. Maybe we can do 42 for a 4.2 gigahertz overclock and uh, we'll, we'll just see if this works. I guess I also need to turn this on with this on off button. All right, I'm gonna keep it simple and just do that, save and reset and see if we can get a clean boot here. Um, if it does boot up fine, I'm just gonna load up a quick little load test in the operating system in Windows 10 to make sure I don't get any immediate failures. But then I actually better get going because uh, I actually have a lunch, uh, I, I'm gonna have lunch with Gigabyte and, uh, and Kyle and then go to my parents' house, okay. All right, well, good news right off the bat is uh, we've booted, so that's always nice. Okay, so there goes Prime95. Um, I am pretty much just keeping an eye on, you know, speeds and temps and everything. Fortunately, multiplier is looking good. Uh, we're running at 4.2 gigahertz on both cores, which you guys can't see because I'm in the way. Hold on, hold on. There, okay. Uh, we're, we're at 4.2 gigahertz on both cores, as we can see down here for our peak. Uh, we're uh, enabling speed states properly so it is throttling down when it's not under load. Temperatures are looking pretty good too. We've hit 57 C max and right now I did, I'm did. i just doing the blend test with Prime95 so I'm going to let it cycle through a few of these and uh, just kind of see how things go. I'm probably actually going to go and get ready to, to leave and I'll let this sitting for the next 5 or 10 minutes at least and uh, honestly in 99.5% in of my uh, tests in the past if you leave a Prime95 test running for about 15 minutes, you're almost guaranteed that it's that it's going to be good as far as the burning goes. Uh, sometimes you might want to leave it running overnight if you want to be like absolutely for sure. Um, but um, for what my parents are going to be doing on this, they're never going to they're never going to touch anything close to what Prime95 uh, is doing. So I think we'll be good for that. So um, I'll be right back. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm very happy with this whole system so far. It's very snappy. Okay, I'm back. Uh, this has been running for, uh, well, let's say about 12 minutes now, and I am happy with the results as is. Everything's staying within range. Uh, temps did creep up a little bit more, but we hit uh, 64, 65 degrees Celsius max, um, which is really not bad at all. Voltage is 1.2 or just over 1.2. Again, I didn't touch that in the BIOS or anything, and that's a perfectly acceptable voltage to be running at. It's been passing all the Prime95 tests just fine. Anyway, though, I'm going to get this uh, shut down and packed up. I'm going to head over to my parents' house. I get to show you guys my old my old bedroom that I grew up in. It's the computer room now. It's kind of fitting, I guess. Look at that! Look at that lovely picture right there. Recognize? See? That's me. Those are my sisters. Okay. Anyway, here's my bedroom through here, or uh, my old bedroom. So yeah, I remember I used my bed. My bed's right here, just just right where I left it. So you can see. 
man, it seems smaller than it used to be, but I guess, you know, I'm, I'm larger now, so that's probably, actually, no, this is a, this is a changing table. Um, <laughs> my sister uh, lives here with my parents currently, and her, and her uh, husband, my brother-in-law. Um, that's the computer that I built with him down there on the floor, in a place of shame for some reason. I'm gonna yell at him when he gets back and tell him to get that up off the floor. Anyway though, uh, old room, etc, etc, but basically, like I said, it's been made into the computer room. This is the hutch sort of thing over here. I need to get them a new monitor too, that's probably going to be next on the list. Anyway, old system is down there. Uh, let's, let's take a look at what is actually in that old system, why don't we? Check out the uh, suites. Uh, this is, I believe, the new mechanical keyboard from uh, Corsair. It's right here, it uses the new Cherry MX uh, Ultimate switches. No, this is, this is super old mess and keyboard uh, from Microsoft. Look, it's got, remember when everything was this beige color? Aren't you glad stuff isn't that color anymore? And then look, we also have a trackball, a Logitech trackball. I really don't like trackballs, but um, I might be forced to use this. I don't know, I have a spare mouse that I brought, so maybe we'll switch to that. This one also looks like it's gotten a fair amount of use. Anyway though, the uh, computer itself is down here in the little cupboard of shame. This is an Antec Sonata case, I do remember that. Um, but it's in one of these little, like, little cupboard things they built, you know, because it's like, hey, we have a computer that generates a lot of heat, let's make a little box for it to, to shut it in so that everything gets super warm. Uh, this little box actually does have a vent that's down there in the back, but there's also a shelf, or the, like there maybe was a shelf in here at one point that's been removed and set along the side here towards the back that's like completely blocking the outlet. So, um, alright, so I've heard this takes a while to boot up. We're gonna hit power and see how long it takes. Hey, we booted up, hooray. Okay guys, before I put this system out of its misery, I wanted to do one or two other quick tests. Um, the first test was just like, what the heck is even in this system? Um, actually pulling up this properties panel when I first booted took an insanely way too long amount of time. I can explain why though. Anyway, anyway, but um, what's inside this is an Intel Core 2 Duo E8500 at 3.16 uh, gigahertz. Uh, it's got four gigs of RAM and it's running on Windows 7. Um, now, one of the main complaints about this system is that it's just so incredibly slow to do anything, whether it's booting up or otherwise. Uh, you might notice, for example, that the hard disk drive is nearly full. It's only a 250 gig drive in there, and there's only 971 megabytes of space left. That will almost always slow you way, way down when your main drive is almost full. It's also a mechanical drive, so that's not good either. But just to give a basis for comparison here, let's quickly start up something simple. How about Firefox? Alright, clicking Firefox now. And let's see how long Firefox takes to load. It's working. It's thinking about Firefox. It's like I might load Firefox here. Wait, what just happened? Oh, wait, yeah, no, it's loading. Here it is. Oh, we almost got the Google logo. Come on, Google. Lo there it is. Okay. Now, if that was a ridiculously long, too much amount of time for you to load up something as simple as a web browser, well, um, I don't know, clear out your hard drive. Yeah, hopefully your computer doesn't load quite this slowly. But um, anyway, that's enough testing with this system. It's driving me insane. I'm going to pull this out of here and switch to the new system. Here are the two computers side by side. New computer on the left, hopefully obviously old computer on the right, and apologies to you guys, I know the lighting in here is not all that great and that my shadow is in a shot. There's nothing I can do. Um, anyway, 
New computer, you've already seen, looking super nice and sexy. Uh, old computer, this is the Antec Sonata, a case that I have used several, several occasions in the past. I learned eventually to hate this case because the power supply can't be removed without pulling it through this section. And I had a power supply die in an Antec Sonata build, and I had an aftermarket CPU cooler on it that was that big. And basically I couldn't remove the power supply without removing the entire motherboard because the CPU cooler had the back plate on it and yeah, I had to pull the whole thing out just to remove the damn power supply. That, that's when I fell out of love with the Antec Sonata, but other than that, it's a pretty nice case and if you're only using a stock cooler like this one, then you're not going to be facing that problem. But hey, check it out. Look, there's some IDE in here. Uh, the motherboard is the P5ND, which is an ASUS board, old standby on an LGA 775, I believe is what this is. Um, I also have a discrete graphics card in here. This is an AMD. I don't even know what AMD card that is. It's a Sapphire. There's our trusty 250 gig drive. Uh, actually, all, all things considered, the cable management in here, I did build this system a few years back. Um, and hey, I, fortunately, it's, it's still in pretty good shape. Again, I think it's mainly that hard drive being full that was causing most of the slowdowns and everything. Also, the fact that it's a mechanical drive and it's a, using an 8500 uh, Intel chip instead of something that's, you know, made within the past three years. All that said though, um, all I'm really going to do here is pull this hard drive out, drop it into here, and that way we can take all the data just as is and, and pull it onto the new system and everything. And then I'll probably just leave that old drive in there as an extra storage drive or something like that. It's still got life in it. Okay, let's move on. Good old WD. 250 gig. Okay, the swap has been made. New computer is down there in the little cubby. For the record, I don't I don't approve of these little cubby things, but this one does actually have some holes down in here for some intake ventilation, and then there is that little this area for air to escape in the back. Um, not ideal, but hey, um, it's it's already there. Uh, I have switched over to uh, this mouse, a wireless mouse, which is nice. And now I'm just going to do another boot test to compare the booting times for the new system and the old system. Here we go. And power. And we're booted. That wasn't too long at all. And now, uh, just another comparison test to just pull up a browser. You know, pretty pretty basic, straightforward thing that you would do with a computer, right? I am using Chrome instead of Firefox, but there it is. That's how long I would expect it to take. Look, I'll even load Google. Look, there it is. There's Google. All right. Very happy with uh, the changeover so far. Let's see what my mom thinks. So, guys, now we have come around to the moment of truth. Uh, I'm introducing you to my mom. Hi, mom. Hi, guys. Okay, mom, say hi to the internet. Internet be nice, that's my mom. Um, and I wanted to give her kind of a litmus test. So mom, if you don't mind, can you reach over there and turn on the new computer? And uh, we're gonna give a little comparison here. Um, granted, you guys already saw the, the time difference, but um, my mom has been using the old computer in its old state, and uh, I think she might be a little bit more impressed with this one. Oh my gosh, something happened already. Just something already happened. <laughs> I pushed the button and there was a nearly immediate response. All right, there it is. It's booted. Oh, wow. All right, no. so just, yeah. So just, <laughs> that wasn't too bad. It was a little bit. That was crazy. A little bit faster than the old one. All right, so you just click anywhere. Um, and then your password is the same, except the first letter is capital. Um, and there it is. Now you're in. No. Now you're in Windows. Okay. That's amazing. It's almost usable as a computer again. Amazing. Okay, and then uh, one last little test here, and that's just to launch Chrome. And um, we'll, we'll, we'll check out the weather and see how quickly we can access that. Just a single click should be all it takes. And then we got a, a shortcut that we made up at the top. Uh, and look, the weather's just there. Amazing. You can see. 82 degrees in February. You can see that it's way too hot. <laughs> way too hot. Way hotter so than way it should be. Hot, yeah. All right. That's crazy. So, do you think you might actually start using the computer I think again I now? I might use the computer again, yeah. This is just fun. Excellent. How exciting. All right, mission Very accomplished. Cool. And so endeth uh, my little project to get my parents a new computer. I'm uh, glad to have gotten them an upgrade. Granted, that old computer probably could have been rehabilitated with an SSD and that kind of thing. But hey, uh, going with some newer hardware means we're using more energy efficient uh, equipment that's not going to generate as much heat. 
uh, we're using a much better power supply that's 80 plus gold rated that's going to save a little bit on the power bill and I'm very confident that this little dual core system uh, can do everything that they need for the time being. Uh, the jury is still out on whether or not I'll be able to convince my mom to take a PC gaming but who knows maybe I'll drop a graphics card in there in the future and I'm sure there's other applications for this computer as well but in the meantime guys thank you so much for watching this video uh, don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel if you want more uh, content like this hit up my store if you want to find uh, cool shirts, mugs, and glasses to purchase and support me in what I do and as always thank you for watching